Hi everyone, good morning, um, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time you'll be watching this session. Welcome to Newspaper Review for the 8th of January 2024. And today we have quite a number of headlines to be discussed. But before we go into all that we have for you today, let's go on a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to the newspaper review for the 8th of January 20. Like I said, we have quite a number of headlines for you today that we are going to discuss with you. So very quickly, let's start with um, the punch. Manufacturers may sack workers as Naira losses 39%. Manufacturers may sack workers as Naira losses 39%. Very quickly, let's look at few things you need to know um, in details. The Naira has depreciated by 38.9% against the United States dollars and at the official I&E window of the Central Bank of Nigeria in the past three months, according to findings by the punch. Data obtained from the FMDQ Securities Exchange revealed that the local currency fell from 745.19 Naira to a dollar on October 3rd, 2023 to 1,335.12 um, for a dollar as at January 3rd, 2024. While the Naira depreciated from 471 Naira per dollar to about 700 Naira per dollar at the official market shortly after the announcement of the exchange rate unification policy of the CBN in June 2023, punch findings showed the local currency had fallen further in the past few months to over 1,000 Naira per dollar. Now, this is the gist. And back to what we have for you today now here we have it that manufacturers may likely sack workers as naira losses 39 percent so before i proceed into our discussion today i would like to introduce you to the person who will be anchoring this session together and the person of mr james mr james are you ready for this discussion because we are not going to take it likely on anybody today so are you ready yeah i'm ready let's do this okay so now my question is if um if workers get sacked like considering the the current situation of the country mm. if people get retrenched from their work don't you think the level of um unemployment uh, we know that for sure they will become an unemployed the level of depression the level of debt and mental mental illness will, will, will increase in the country. At least if you don't have a job to do, you will become mentally drained. Mm. Before you know it, such person will start thinking about death. Such a person will begin to think about suicide. That's when you see somebody will, will, will come to a conclusion that, oh, this life is not what we Because there are times that you get depressed, not because something is really wrong, because there is no food to eat. Mm. Or even the food you have is not even enough. So don't you think the level of debt and depression in the country will increase if people get retrenched from their work well, just because of dollar um, uh, um, naira loss in mm. value? This news um, somehow to me is not a uh, uh, balance. You know why I say so? Okay. Because they said manufacturer may sack workers as naira loses, uh, you know, uh, depreciates. Uh, so uh, the question is, if the sack workers, who is going to work for the company? Is the company is going to shut down? You know, I think what That's... they are going to do is, you see, the people they are going to leave behind, like those people that will be retained, they will give them double job and they will be paid less. That's, that's, that will actually be their yeah. plan. Listen, one person can take up the position of two persons and they will be underpaid. Because I could remember as of 2020 when there was lockdown and everything, you know, 
people had slash in salary mm. until date. I'm not even sure they've they've increased anybody's salary to date. Mm. So um, if they if they I I mean they uh withdraw some uh, staff or they uh, they sack some staff and then you know add some uh you know tax to uh, or, or more the this is more work to to, to, mm. to some people. I yeah. mean that 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 is uh, totally uh, wrong. I mean. Uh, people are complaining of uh, of salary, you know, uh, you know, salaries not being increased, you know, every day, and then you add more jobs to them, and then yet nothing they is, uh, yeah. It. So it's totally wrong. Nobody, no company should do that. And I, I think government should also look at, uh, look into some of these uh, companies, companies that are any more, and then paying their staffs, you know, uh, below uh, the, you know, expected amounts. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the government, there should be a body of people in the government that will look into uh, uh, that, uh, this and that. Well, um, actually, uh, concerning that, I, I know somebody that is an HR personnel. Mm -hmm. She said something that she once worked with a company, like this is a multi-billionaire company. They earn in millions. I, I uh, for for uh, privacy sake, I don't want to mention names and everything. She said when she started working with them as an HR person, she said she, as at then she had people that are that are BSc holders and they were being paid below the price. I'm sorry, they were being they were being underpaid. There were BSc holders that has been working in that organization for more than for more than five years. Yet they were being paid sixty thousand naira. Do you know what the manager of that company said? He said it is not yet time. They will they will think about it. So concerning this, I I feel that it is the work of the HR persons in company that should work on how they are going to make life and work environment better for their organization instead of oh sorry for their staff members and everything instead of cutting down you know mm. th there is a way people will be eager to work when they are being mm. paid well. And I think companies should consider their workers. No, they should not be self selfish. I mean, there are companies that they usually they need to work on the salary of, salaries of their, uh, you know, their workers. And sometimes they they say things like, okay, if you don't want to do it, another person will do it. Exactly. And they are right because they can't, uh, the people are depressed. People mm -hmm. are, have been jobless. Sometimes people don't want to just sit at home. They just want to do anything to keep exactly. themselves busy. They have been sitting at home for maybe for months or for years since, mm -hmm. since uh, they graduated. And so now they don't want to remain at home again. They just want to engage themselves in something. And sometimes they are collecting as low as 30,000 Naira, as 40,000 Naira, but they are graduate, but they just want to cope with anything. You know, some of them take teaching job and sometimes I've, I've, I've noticed uh, uh, recently that w uh, one of the uh, low, uh, lowest uh, pay paying uh, job these days is maybe teaching school. I, exactly. I've noticed that teachers, some I've teachers been have been, been yes, they have been because they, their salaries will never be increased because they know that if they leave, they will get, they will not get anything better and mm. all of that. Mm. So now that they are now saying they are going to retrench workers, like it is so disheartening because there is a lot of problems already. And I feel the future of the, the future of this country is in entrepreneurship. And since that is the reason for this, uh, you know, retention of staffs is because of the, you know, the uh, depreciation of Nera. I think the, the, the CBN or whoever is, is in charge of, you know, uh, uh, this uh, uh, the Naira, you know, uh, depreciation should they, they should work on how we can be able to see that Naira bounce. That. Nera, like, what are the what Nera, is FG doing concerning this depreciation, or are we going to just continue like this and people will keep you know people will keep getting retrenched from their job? You know, life is not getting any better. Like, is it even is it even the joy of a nation that the people under you are not progressing? Because that is actually my concern. Like the downline, that what what makes an effective leader is the is the development of the followers under them. If the people under you are not growing, that means you are not doing anything. You are not doing anything at all. And to even think that uh, uh, the federal government is spending huge amount of money on things they are not supposed to spend money on, yet the citizens are complaining. The citizens citizens are languishing they are you know they are they are they are suffering the, the masses are going through a lot yet I I, I I i i was coming back to that what are the federal government doing concerning this depreciation mm -hmm. 
they, they, are, they are just, they are just uh, you know, uh, allocating, uh, you know, millions and billions to, uh, um, to other, this thing, other un, un, unnecessary, let me call it unnecessary, uh, 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 suppose, uh, budgets and all sort of uh, uh, this thing, uh, palliative and, you know, the, the federal government, I think they are focusing on wrong, uh, uh, wrong things. We saw the other days uh, someone, uh, you mm. know, arresting, uh, you know, maybe somebody that maybe mm. was uh, supposedly was driving taking on driving on. on. And, and you saw the, the energy he, he he put in to make sure that the guy was arrested and mm. all that. I mean, if that energy could be channeled to so, some things, you know, the the uh, the 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 the, uh, the economy, you know, people yeah, the, the suffering of the growth of yeah. the economy. Yeah, yeah if that energy and all that resources can be channeled into just imagine, the, just imagine, just uh, of, of recent that um, um, Professor Marufo from Oshun State, like when they came out to defend that they were not giving a certain amount of money for meals mm. and they were just giving six hundred million naira. I was like. If you if they can come out just to defend themselves for a money that is not allocated to news, can't they just use this same energy to defend the masses? Mm -hmm. Like, okay, this money that we are allocating for news, can't we channel this money into entrepreneurship? Can't we channel this money into into um um helping the masses to grow you know they should stop depending on the government they should do something for themselves so that they can create streams of income for I others feel like the money is going all within the the, the government uh, this in, uh, 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 ministers and all that because the the other day we we saw a news that uh, uh, 15 billion era was approved to complete a vice president uh, you know uh, res, uh, residence and it is it's not it's not to build 15 billion she not to not to build money. 15 billion not to build though just to complete that means uh, billions billions have sure gone the current vice bill, billions billions have gone into it before so we don't know how many billions have gone into it we just know that 15 billions has been approved to complete it now you will see that where all the monies are going they are going in the wrong direction they are going to Things that uh, this is why they didn't want to vote for Peter Bill because Peter Bill, we saw that when he was a president in Anambra State, he made sure that he cut so, cut off some excesses. He cut off. He doesn't allow money to go into uh, a wrong uh, this thing. He makes sure that the money is, is. There are things that are unnecessary. There are things that should be spent less on. The other day we saw how the. Uh, how many millions were spent just on air freshener and uh, this thing? <laughs> millions of naira <laughs> was spent for 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 air, uh, for air freshener. Millions of naira on uh, the, the 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 air freshener of uh, governors or for for whatever. You know, I I just feel like our 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 um gov uh, government they don't have any strategic plan for this country. You know, just look at the the system being used in Dubai. You know, everybody knows the story of Dubai, how that place was once a desert. Now look at look at Dubai now. See the way things are being done. That's because the 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 president has a plan, he has a future, a strategic want to run how they want to run the country. He has a vision. See, that this thing that where, where there is no vision, mm. the people will be misled because the blind cannot, a blind man cannot lead mm. another set of blind people and because the, the leader is blind. The, they know how they, to they, lead other I, I believe that spirit. I believe that they are not blind. They know they know the right thing, right? It's just that they are. Let me use the word. They are selfish. They are concerned. They are not concerned about any other person. They are concerned about their their self and their family. So their strategic because they, plan is they, going they, on. They, they, they going know what selfish. they know what people are. They know what they. If they want to do the right thing, they will do it because mm -hmm. these people they have families. They take care of their families. Mm -hmm. Their family are not suffering. They are not. They are not in need. Mm -hmm. So let them use the same strategy they use in taking care of their family to to lead the nation to to make sure that things are in place mm. that is just it well thank you so much thank you so much on that at least we've been able to sort one or two things on that our our we we need to arise and you know create a future for this country because the, the, the way this country is going the way this country is going and like what mother maria said some days ago he said the future of this country is the youth and the youth just have to arise and do the needful because if we don't do it these people are not ready to do anything 
we are the change it must begin with us we must change the narrative we must arise so thank you so much on that so on to the next let's go to daily trust this is quite interesting uh next headline is taken from daily trust and it says tinumbu's 57.8 billion naira on rice palliative raises dust tinumbu's 57.8 billion naira rice palliative raises dust tinumbu's um 57.8 billion naira raises dust so let's quickly go into the the news in detail so we can get the gist at least get an idea of what is being discussed the 57.8 billion worth of food palliatives approved for members of the national assembly by president bola ahmed Tinubu for onward distribution to their constituent is raising dust daily trust reports while some lawmakers confirmed receiving palliatives some said said to be worth 200 million for senators and 100 million naira for members of the house of rep Others deny that. This is just as many constituents across the country are accusing their representatives of awarding the items. The presidency, while showcasing Tinumbu's scorecard in palliative disbursement to Nigerians, had revealed that each senator got 200 million naira worth of palliatives and 100 million for each member of the House of Rep. So the whole number, the whole, uh, the total amount for the palliative is. Um, close to 60 billion naira on rice palliative mm. now my question is is 57.8 billion or approximately 60 billion naira mm. not so much on palliative what are they eating what are they eating this is not even to the masses this is just this is just a palliative within because and i did not hear anything in my own country and this is for, i did not this see for, any this, rice in this, my own local these people are collecting salary it's and not they are being they are paid. Not being paid. now my question is that this 37.8 billion era is it included in the in the budget for the year I mean, this is just for the unitized season mm. they're still going to be easter they're still going to be ilea they're still going to be idil fitri the cabrio they're still going to be christmas they're still going to a lot of things that they are still going to do in this year. Why? Now, why can't these people use their money to buy it? Or they must they? I mean, even if they want to, you know, approve the palliative, as uh, uh, you know, why? Why? Why must it be um, almost ab about sixty billion naira? Like it is not even can't million it, can't, it be, can't it be caught? Can't it be all these things? They are. They are. The excesses are too much. The and when it comes to you know the masses you know money for 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 to take care of the masses we have we have not seen anywhere uh, we heard of uh, the 25000 naira that 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 will be paid to uh, was it 500 million uh, uh, nigerians or so we have not have not have not have not come across anybody who say that uh, i've received the, the 25000 naira oh, really? today <laughs> so <laughs> This country, that's why many people are going to politics. It's not because they are going there for the people. They, they see a lot of the money that is there. So everybody that is going there is just going for themselves. I mean, when are we having people that will care for the people? When are we going to have people who will be going there just that because... The of the yes. When are we going to have people that are going there just because they want... They, they, they want the betterment of the people, not because of themselves and their family. So can we have the headline again? Can we have the headline again so we can have a breakdown of all of these things? I remember you said you said something about twenty five thousand naira being allocated to the target desperate Nigerians. Mm, now this was it. As at last year during the um yuletide season, there was fifty percent off transportation for those that are traveling. Mm. There was free train services okay. during only yuletide season. Yes. Hundred million naira worth of palliative to each house of representative members. Mm, hundred mi naira. million naira to each person. You should listen. Two hundred million worth of palliative to each senator. Oh God. Two hundred million to each senator. Thirty-five thousand naira. <laughs> Thirty-five thousand naira provisional wage award for civil servants for two okay. months. For two months, civil Civil's servants servant. received 35,000 35, naira, naira for and, two months. Um, <laughs> 185 billion naira shared to 36 states and FCC as palliative. 185 billion naira. Zero custom duty and VAT on 
CNC conversion and imports. Zero. Okay, that, that's nice. Right distribution to governors for sharing in the states. Mm -hmm. Do you know how much they are going to spend on each bag of rice? How much are they selling bag of rice now? A bag of rice is now, let's say, a bag of about rice is now 60, about 60,000 year or 60,000 year at most, 65,000 year. Let's just assume that's the price. And lastly, 25,000 year conditional cash transfer to vulnerable, vulnerable Nigerians. Nigerians. So who are the vulnerable Nigerians? Nigerians, I hope you are seeing my face who, right now. Who, who are the vulnerable? See what they call us, vulnerable Nigerians. Like, like, Ipe, we are hungry. <laughs> Edin Pawa, we are hungry. Vulnerable Nigerians that cannot afford 25,000. They call us vulnerable Nigerians. And, you know, the annoying part they're, is that now it is still the same Nigerians that say, well, let's collect it like that. So at least we'll use it to old body. The 25, see, 25,000 naira is not enough for me to spend in one week. There are only few people that will see that money and then they will stag it. Me, I did, if not, if they, not that they, when I got this they, news, me, they, I did not hear anything they, about any 25,000 naira being disposed to tag, vulnerable they Nigerians. They will tag it as uh, they, have, they have given uh, 25,000 naira to Nigerians. And I, meanwhile, it's just maybe a few number of people that will actually get. And that few number of people, see, there, there's this Yoruba saying. Yoruba used to say, Say your barn roco in your man roco see what you are in when you are when you are uprooting weed mm. if you have a o with you now if you are if you are uprooting if you are weeding do you weed to the front no you weed to, to yourself you weed to yourself so those people that are involved in this thing they will gather people that are close to them mm. They will just gather them, snap like them. Like it's maybe they are, they are the area boys that supported them, or maybe they are planning to go for, they are planning to contest for a particular mm. position. They know that, ah, this one, for us to get the heart of these people, let's bless their life. Those mm. are the people that get blessed. Because yeah. me, I'm not, I didn't hear anything about that. They, they, they will just gather few Until people. Until now. Then snap them and put it on. That's all. They, they, they will, they will not Do you know that, that there was friends. a time in 2020, now this thing brings the gist, there was a time in 2020 in my in my community that they came, uh, some set of people came from the local government, they said they want to empower people, that they want to give, that, that was already the COVID-19 mm -hmm. lockdown. They snapped, they took people's picture. You see, when, when I got home and my mom told me that, ah, they said we should come so that they will snap us uh, and they will give us some, some, some uh, amount of money. I said, did you, did you, did you allow them to snap you and all that? My mom was like, you know, she finds this ridiculous they, and all they, of that. They, so they, she just has to stay back and she's not interested. You know that there was one old woman beside us. This old woman posted, you know, she did a nice post for, 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 for the thing. Ah, one boy, they are coming to bless us, so they are coming to give us money, they are coming to give us. The woman was so happy, an old woman, because she doesn't have any more anybody around. You see, on the long run, they just took that woman's picture. He said, We have given these people food, we have given these people money. And the, this woman did not receive anything. Mm -hmm. But we saw the gist. Yes. We saw it that, online. That is I, I mean, I saw I saw a post where uh, someone, I think a senator or so, uh, or a local government, I don't know, but, but somewhere he said a, a a man did a road. He decided to did a, do a particular um, road. I don't know if it's a street road. A, 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 somewhere I think it was in Calabar, uh, one state like that. Mm. And so one of these uh, uh, chairman came to snap the road. And, and claimed that right he had claimed that he had his government, government that have, have done the road. And that's because they gave him money to actually uh, do a particular mm. road and he not do it. So he came to be snapping this one that maybe a, a, a people decided to do a road that maybe it, uh, was it a community or a person that decided to do the road. And he now came there, was snapping the road and posting it. That, that he did. Now you see that's the problem. They are interested in you know snapping and you know posting and making sure that people see that they are doing it. Meanwhile, they are not doing it. They are not doing anything. They just want the good name. So they gather. A you set saw. Of you saw. Where the, the time. The time of I think it was the election period where you see Saul. We saw him in mechanic shop. We saw him in uh, where they are selling food. Mm -hmm. You see him wear apron and like a, a chair. You know. Not that going here and there, and all of this thing. We saw the video, we saw the pictures, and what they are doing is not they are not they are not sending, they are just for themselves. They are they just want to trying get to the paint of the people so that by the time they get there, they will do whatever they like. The only that the only time you get to hear about what the what this 
people are going to do for you is before they get to that position. As soon as they get to that position, you no longer see those things. You know, they, those things will never become a reality. Well, it, it, it's just like as soon as they get to that place, there's a spirit that is backing them up that make them feel like, no, we are like we have arrived. We don't need to serve the people. And you know, there's this poem that I read by um by one Nii or Shundari on on the leader and the led. He was talking about the leadership and followership of Nigeria or of of Africa. He said. For us to get a good leader, we need a, a leader with an hybrid of all characters. That was how he put it. We need a leader that has a touch of the lion and a touch of the lamb. A leader that can act as a tiger. A leader that can act as, as, as he can fix himself in all places. And also, we must have... For, for a leader to succeed, there must be good followers. Every follower must work with a consciousness that one day they will lead. And that and the truth is that in our homes we are leading, in our sphere of influence we are leading. But a lot of people are not working in this consciousness. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see that when people get to a position, they just want to do it for themselves. And as soon as they are, as soon as they leave that position, what is turning in, we are not hearing anything about them again. That's why you see that when those people leave the position, people are jubilating. And it is so sad that these people are not living exemplary. They are not living for the future. They are not living a life that we can come back to say that, ah, these people truly lived. This, like, you know, there are some leaders that when they leave a position, you will miss them. But some of, some of these are top leaders. The moment they live like this, Nigerians are rejoicing. Mm -hmm. Nigerians are rejoicing that thank God this person is no more. And you know, it's it's it, it is the sad thing that these people are not even thinking. These people are not even thinking that what name, what legacy am I leaving behind? What am I writing in the sand of time? What are people going to say about me as soon as I leave this position? What what impact have I left? They are just, you know, they are just they are just after blessing their own lives, and you know, they just want to use that for years. To bless themselves, and as soon as they leave, before you know it, their life may be gain meaning at the end. And you know, it is really, it is so disheartening. And that really. leads us to the next. Yeah, the next and news. this um, will lead us to the last headline for today. Can we have the headline from Vanguard? Nigeria's money in wrong ends says. The general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. A. Adeboli, during the uh, during the service yesterday on the seventh January, twenty twenty three, he said, and I quote: "Nigerians, there is it is not like there is no money in Nigeria, but Nigeria's money is in the wrong okay. hands." And from all that we have said so far, is it not is it not true? That's that's the reality. He said, it's not like there's no money in this country. There is money in this country. But the fact remains that the money is not in the hands of the people it is supposed to be. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. If it's in the wrong... In the they right... will not be spending 37.5 billion yes. on piloting. They will not be thinking of, you know, they will, they will not, they, will, they, will, they would have looked for solution to the, 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 depreciate, the depreciation on Nigerian currency. You they will that. not be spending billions of naira on 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 houses. Look, at, look at how much they are located to senator. Look at how much they are located to civil servant. And when it came to, they are located yeah, to vulnerable Nigerians. Vulnerable Nigerians. Nigerians. When it came to uh, when he had to do with the the senator, was it hundred million that was, was allocated to them? Million for senator. Hundred million for then how much how much for a uh, civil servant? Thirty five thousand naira. Vulnerable Nigerians, twenty-five thousand naira. This, this is what we are talking about. It's all about themselves. If we have, that's why. If you have people like, um, you know, most times I talk about these uh, uh, pastors, you know, and all that, because you see, like this man talking, uh, talking here. If this man should be the president of the country, it's just that they will not accept. They will not venture. They will not want to venture in it because of. You know, they, a lot of they are, they have a lot to, a lot to do, and they consider that as a uh, you know, a, 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 yeah. And you will see that they 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 have they have a heart. You will see from their leadership. Mm -hmm. 
the, the, because it's not it's not it's, you are not just a leader only when you are in a, in politics or when you are a president mm. these people are also leaders in their churches and their organizations mm. and we saw how that they care about the they, they have time where, where, where they will give out money to you know people who are in need and all that mm. anybody that comes to them like they see that is in need they go to the poor they go to prisons and all that to how many of the government officials are doing that? How many of the, those senators, uh, senators, governors are doing that? Mm. And so when people like this are talking, it's not as if they 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 they, they earn the right to talk. They have mm. what they they know what they, they they know what they are saying. So if the money of Nigeria Nigeria is in the in the right hand, we see that everybody or the nigeria will be better exactly and that will be better because we have oil we have other things mm -hmm. that should make the country rich mm -hmm. but we are not seeing you see nigeria uh, you know we are not seeing the money the nigerians are complaining that they are not seeing the money because we saw during the um <clears throat> the 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 naira redesigning we saw how people were, you know, they say that the old era will expire and all that. People were digging the ground to bring out their money. You, we saw all those uh, people loading uh, bags of money in, in vehicle, going to, taking it to bank. Some people, even when they dig the ground to, they dug the ground to bring the money that they, yeah, they money, money have, you know, have already. spoiled already. Now we see how the level of that's the high level of selfishness. Mm. If they have used that money to establish a I don't company, know which of, there, there is this, there is this, there is this governor, there is this past governor. I don't know. I do. I've forgotten the name. That they said he has over five hundred accounts, five hundred accounts in various banks of the world. Yes, 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 I've forgotten the name. You see that. I've forgotten the name. And not now, be saying as zero naira day inside those accounts. Now look at this. There are money inside those look accounts. At Over five hundred accounts. Account. Personal accounts. Dangote Dangote established a this thing, a refinery and a fertilizer. Do you know how many people rely from the uh, from the construction? Thousands of people work in that company, even people from aside uh, from India, from China, mm. they work in that company. Thousands of people benefited from it. They were paid. Some of them were paid handsomely, you know, people, carpenters and other business, people that had skills, got jobs from there, and they were able to work there within mm. the business. And, and, and that's what we're talking about. We have places like this, people like that, who, who will not go and borrow, uh, uh, dug the ground, dig the ground to bury the money. Mm. People who will yeah, invest that money in and do so open can... business so that they can employ people. That's what the man is saying, mm. that the people who have the money, they are trying to have many accounts, save it in their account. For they themselves. are digging the ground to hide it. And it is there. not like when they die, they are going to go with this money. And this brings me to the question, what is the future for this, the students? Like every year, year in, year out, millions of students graduate from INC. And that's why Nigeria. some people are now saying that the school is calm. See, because I got, I, got they... I, I, was, I was engaged in, in a discussion with some set of people over the weekend. And they said when they were when they were uh, when they were done with their youth service, some weeks to the end of the service, they said they were worried that there is no job in Nigeria. How are they going to get a job? Like, are they going to sit back at home with nothing to do? Are they like you know they were so bothered, they were so concerned. And if those few people could be that concerned, thanks thanks be to God, they have a job now. But we have countless of Nigerians year in year out. Nigerians go for youth service. Youth graduate from school, millions of them, and the government do not do not even have plans for them. That if we have this number of people that graduate from school yearly, mm. if we have this number of people that sign out of of, of the service of the youth service call for 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 a, a yearly, what is the provision we are making for them to be employed? These people are not just going to sit back at home. What is it like? Can they create employment opportunities so that at least when there is opportunity for them to to work, they will, will not be screaming lazy Nigerian youth mm. about. So it's not like youth are lazy. Mm. It's not like Nigerian youth but, are lazy. But, but when there is no job to do, they will want to they'll venture into what means. they will find other, other means. means. And it is so disheartening that. You see, the devil is so powerful that it gives them quick option. Mm. That's why they are looking for fast everything, fast when, everything. When, when. And, and look at your friend. Your friend is using iPhone. Why not go and use iPhone too? No, there's a level of suffering you will, you will see that it will... It that will, will make will you conclude you that there is no hope. That, yeah, and then anybody, any option that comes, it will, it, will be, it will be an option to take. 
when 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 you have suffered for long and then you you try all means to get job you are not getting it and someone comes and tell you that okay you have uh, this option to do this and even if it's evil the person would will have a think of it the person would think and say ah i've been suffering i've been looking for a job here and there i've been looking for all means to get money but to no avail so any option that comes your way they, they may follow it mm -hmm. it takes a person that is uh, uh, courageous and also understands you know and also uh, has the mind to endure to say no to uh, other options that are not uh, legit mm -hmm. but it's not everybody that have that you know that that that, that, that um that, that endurance to stay and mm -hmm. you know wait for the you know the the the, 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 the a good job or something else to exactly. do so if the government to look into all these people not just the government they are also people that are rich like dangotes but they are not using them they are not putting the money mm -hmm. in in the, in the right, right position. Source, they are not, the right they are not investing the money. They are not opening companies that mm. will employ workers to work under them so that the level of joblessness... Even those, if, even those that open companies, they will be requesting some for some really ridiculous experience. Imagine mm. you are telling a, 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 a person that just graduated if, if they have seven years experience. The seven years experience. Let's well. not even go into that. Let's not go into that. But the fact remains that our money is in the hands of wrong people. Mm, wrong people. If it is truly in the hands of the right people, this country would have been better. Yes. This country would be progressing. Since all this, before I was born, I would shout to go better, go better. When will it truly be better? It will not be better until we start doing what is right. So, like for, for me, me, myself, and I personally, I am working on how to build an economic system for my own family members, for those that are around me, for 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 things to go on well for me and how I can channel that energy into the lives of everyone around me, creating mm -hmm. an economic system that will help people to live comfortably at the same time. They get their daily bread and everything. And I know that I receive help to do all of that. So thank you so much for joining us in this review session. And before we go, um, before we leave you here, we we'll like that you follow us on all our social media platform, on Facebook, on Instagram. We go by the name Prime Media TV. Please do well to follow us. And also we have an online mall where you can shop for all of your electro uh, electronic appliances at remy.com.ng so, where you get to buy your, uh, you know, clothes, uh, you know, bags, shoes, and every other thing that you need, your home, uh, you know, uh, appliances. appliances and every other thing that you need Just so from endspot do well to shop with us thank you once again for joining us in this review once again remy.com.ng buy your all all the things that you need on remy.com.ng thank you